Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Um, please let me know next time um, so that we can continue on in the suffer. Um, which book you guys would like me to start with for our next series of videos? Um, do you want me to start in Jubilees? Do you want me to do um, Tobit? Um, do you want me to do any of the books of Baruch or um, Susanna or at, or starting with the, with First Maccabees? Let me know, please. Um, but for now, I looked up the third book of Enoch, <clears throat> and we're going to be getting into that today. All right, so. Introduction. Our Ishmael ascends to heaven to, to behold the vision of the Merkaba and is given in charge to Metatron. And Enoch walked with Yahuwah, and he was not, for, Ye for Yahuwah took him. So he ascended, or Yahuwah ascended him. Um, Rabbi Ishmael said, when I ascended on high to behold the vision of the Merkaba and had entered the six halls, one within the other, <clears throat> as soon as I reached the door of the seventh hall, I stood still in prayer before the Kodesh one. Blessed be he. And lifting up my eyes on high towards the divine majesty, I said, Adonai of the universe, I pray thee, that the merit of Aaron, the son of Amram, the lover of peace and pursuer of peace, who received the crown of priesthood from the thy glory of the Mount of Sinai, be valid for me in this hour, so that Kofsial, the prince, and the angels with him may not get power over me, nor throw me down from the heavens, or the Shamayim. For with the Kodesh one, blessed be he, sent to me Metatron, his servant, Ebed, the angel, <clears throat> the prince of presence, and he, spreading his wings with great joy, came to meet me so as to save me from their hand. And he took me by, my, by his hand in their sight, saying to me, Enter in peace, before the high and exalted king, and behold the picture of, of me, uh, or no, behold the picture of Merkaba. Then I entered the seventh hall, and he, le he led me to the camp or camps of Shekinah, and placed me before the Kodesh one. Blessed be he to behold the Merkaba. As soon as the princes of the Merkaba and the flaming seraphim perceived me, they fixed their eyes upon me. Instantly trembling and shuddering seized me, and I fell down and was benumbed by the radiant image of their eyes and the splendid appearance of their faces, until the Kodesh one, blessed be he, rebuked them, saying, My servants, my seraphim, my, carib my carabim, and my open... open Open the mill, cover ye your eyes before Ishmael, my son, my friend, my beloved one, and my glory, that he tremble not nor shudder. For with Metatron, the prince of the presence, came and restored my spirit and put me upon my feet, or restored my ruach and put me upon my feet. After that moment, there was not in me. There was not in me strength enough to say a song before the throne of glory of the glorious king, the mightiest of all, all kings, the most excellent of all princes, until after the hour had passed. After one hour had passed, the Kodesh one, blessed, blessed be he, opened to me the gates of Shekin, the gates of peace, the gates of wisdom, the gates of strength, the gates of power, the gates of speech. Debor, the gates of song, the gates of Kedusha, the gates of chant. And he enlightened my eyes and my heart by words of psalm, song, praise, exaltation, thanksgiving, extolment, glorification, hymn, and eulogy. And as I opened my mouth uttering a song before the Kodesh one, blessed be he, the Kodesh Chayoth beneath and above the throne of glory answered and said, 
Kodesh and blessed be the glory of Yahuwah from his place. Chanted the Kedusha. Okay, next time we'll be reading chapter 2 um, from uh, Third Enoch chapter 2. I love you all. Baruch haba b'ashem Yahuwah. Shalom and blessings.